Well, I figured I'd take a stab at Grandia Extreme. Why I'm working on this one first instead of Grandia 2 or 3 is honestly a bit beyond me. Maybe it's because this one, you know, is probably going to be the easiest one to work on. Because um, this one's more of a dungeon crawler, so there's not much of a story really to this game. Though I guess that's kind of fair. I mean, it is a side story, so, you know, it doesn't need that much depth, right? But I have to admit, I don't like the um, control layout by default here. Because um, you enter things using the circle button. Like, what is this, Xenosaga? But yeah, I actually played through the first dungeon or two in this game in the past. I'm on my own time. So, I have some experience with this one. Which is why I said the story is not very deep from what I've got through. But like I said, it's a side story, so kind of expected. But I'm not expecting anything too uh, amazing in this opening uh, cutscene movie. Ooh, they changed the colors. Now it's artistic. It's not just video game now, it's art. I mean, I'm sure you can make the argument that video games are art with their more complex stories and stuff they have nowadays, but back in the day there wasn't too much art really to video games, you know. Oops. With a, what was it, the first Donkey Kong game where Donkey Kong would throw barrels and a plumber just jump over them, like, yep, yeah, truly a deep story there. We, we've come a long way. I mean, come on, those are rather standard planes for the most part. Oh, an old guy, huh? So, is he like a king or something? Otherwise, I don't get why he'd be up front. And are they charging an enemy army? Or are they just get up there for shits and giggles, you know? Some people are weird like that, you know? They gotta make everything all dramatic. Well, now, three tornadoes? That's a problem. Those are some serious natural disasters, though. Ooh, a tidal wave. Huh. Ooh, a tank. Well, I hope that's not a sign of what's gonna happen in this game. You know, it's just gonna tank, you know, all the way to the bottom. Oh, he's gotta stand there and look cool, you know? Oh no! Someone's shooting back, maybe. Or it's or it's a weird earthquake phenomenon. I don't know. You know, you might as well just kept going forward. You know, just charge ahead. Eh, I guess he ordered a full retreat. Whatever. So what? Do I have to find a way to stop a bunch of natural disasters? I'm not sure I know how to do that. Does it involve getting magic rocks? I, I can do that at least. After all, you know, gathering magic rocks is pretty standard. <laughs> but I have no idea what half of that has to do with anything in this game. Like I guess I didn't get very far. Before I put aside to work on other stuff. Okay, we finally get to the part where I can control the character sometime soon. I didn't think I'd have to hit like almost the five minute mark to get control of a character. After all, you know, feeling a bit lengthy with all that opening intro movie stuff. And all we did was see disasters happen. From, from the air, from, from the ground, from the sea. Just everything was messed up. Okay. Okay, that's a terribly designed car, but whatever. Yeah, I don't like it. Makes me think of that one vehicle on South Park, to be honest. Ooh. That would not have been a good thing to ride. But you always see stuff like that in, you know sci-fi for some reason. Like, why? Like, it doesn't look like it'd be a f all that particularly stable. 
But I suppose having the bigger will on back might make it work, but... Wah! No, oh, no, I gotta practice my stabbing moves. So we've just been following the mail delivery guy. You know, he's not even a cool mail delivery guy like that guy that pops up in The King of Bandits. Hey, I mean, come on. How's your training going? Oh, hey, Pike. You just wait. I'll surpass my old man in no time. Will you? <laughs> yeah, you got drive. I'll give you that. Here. What's the thing on his head? It's your fourth one from the army. Man, these guys don't give up. First they write me out of the blue, and now they're demanding a response. Well, I'll tell letter. So what do they want? And what's this about someone coming to talk with a green sissy like you? Shut up. <laughs> I've got all the experience I need. Must be some do you? but who cares? Never trust the army. Why not? <laughs> That's for sure. Hey, speaking of the army, isn't that jerk Kreutz still enlisted? He was such an arrogant bastard. I wonder how far he's climbed his way up through the ranks. Kreutz? I don't know, and I don't care. That self-righteous pig. If I ever see him again, I'll shove my fist down his... Typical, you'd get what, all throat? like that. You'd probably be better off sending them a reply, even if the answer is no. Well, yeah. good luck in your training. Well, that was brief. Ha, like, let's bring up another character that's going to pop up nice at some point. Care in the world. Catch you later. Gotta deliver more letters. In my stupid vehicle. Well, now. What's in this dumb letter, anyway? They gonna read it? And why do we have to watch a bird circle ahead? Is seeing this train ground really that important? Well, now. Looks like the army decided to show up itself, huh? Damn. Ah! <laughs> ah, magic, huh? Dang Was there a point to that? Was it supposed to explode? Because I like explosions. <sighs> and giving up, huh? I must be doing something Lame. wrong. Pops, why did you have to die on me without leaving me in good hands? Kreutz just does whatever the hell he wants without any regard for other people. He is such a slimy. Why are you even bringing him up? He's not even here. Or is he your brother? Elemental disorder, I don't get it. Huh? Do they really know how to stop it? Even if I wanted to, there's no way I'm going to trust them when all they say is, report immediately. <laughs> wow. Nope, not going to do it. Get called by the army, go all the way there, and that self-centered windbag would probably... Now that's not even funny. I swear, if I ever run into that conniving, egotistical little phony... Jeez. <laughs> if I enlisted in the army, even though I'm not an experienced ranger, I'd be just like Kreutz. Nah, I need to train harder. What? Train time's up, son. And netted. Come on, kids, stop struggling. Ow, the little bugger bit me. 
go to through town, the net. Boys. Well, that was short. This kid could prove to be difficult. I didn't want it to come to this. Very well. Take him away. <laughs> Such bad voice acting. <laughs> like, like, very well. Take him away. Well, that's one way to get into the, uh, the army, I guess. I'm sorry. It's just that I didn't think you would accept the job voluntarily. Obviously he wasn't. Evan. Age 18. Relatively inexperienced. Only ranger in this area. What's the big idea? Why did you have to beat me? What do you want? It's the army. Wake up. I had no idea that the ranger would be someone like you. Now you are free to move about. This is Loka, created as part of the Elemental Disorder Termination Plan. All we need is right here. That's a terrible name. Take a good look. Hey, I'm not interested Jeez. in being an army lapdog. Too bad. What you want doesn't matter. When you understand your position, come and talk to me. <laughs> hey! Lady! Listen when somebody talks well, to Well, still you. no control yet. Well, no. Oh, I can shake that but not get anything? That's terrible! Well, I can't even put the chair back up right. Nor read the books. Ugh. Can I save where I feel like? Nope, I can't mess with the controls though. Plan. Play fair. Focus. Well, obviously reduce one foe at a time. Darn, I keep forgetting you gotta use plan B. Well, go wild, obviously. Okay. What earth are you? Oh, your humble servant, eh? No, 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 no. I have knowledge, but not experience. The most I can offer you is advice. Well, then I'm not interested. Stupid tutorial. I don't need no stupid tutorials. How complicated could it be? Well, let's go check out the village, I guess. What on earth is this? A giant chicken? What is that, Bar Hair? It seems that you're a dog. Oh, I've never seen any creature like you. It's a chicken, fish, doggy, what's it? I don't know. It's just weird. I don't have enough money to buy Jack Squad anyway. I mean, if I could buy something, I wouldn't be items. A diner? Eh, whatever. Yeah. It's not like I want to be here. Oh, you are, are you? <laughs> kind of stuck, man. Just accept it. Uh oh, what earth is this weird thing? Oh, I can't do anything with it. Justin's house? What the? Eh, Justin the Adventurer. Step aside, army lapdog. No place for adventure, geezer. It's a chessboard. Huh, a marlin. Why? Well, you can mess with the chess, I guess, but... It all seems to be fake. Eh. Why do they pick up something that's so useless? Oh, nice, they got walls to keep me in. Except for a train station. The train's not even there! 
I wanna go to the diner. Okay, to the park maybe. Um, I don't see anything over here to do. Except look at a waterfall. Is that guy I saw over there? No, it's just a pole sitting in the water. Some park. Maybe we can put stuff in it later, I don't know. I don't remember being able to put things in it, but maybe. Okay, the command post, eh? You know, I'm not sure if I like what I see here, Dini. If this operation succeeds, I'll show the whole world that Nordis isn't a warlike country. I'm sure I've already told you how important this is. Plus, I'm not Dini. I'm Lieutenant Dean. Am I making myself clear, First Sergeant Carmine? Being a little warlike is okay, don't you think, Dean? In other words, this <laughs> job's dangerous. Pretty it up all you want, but if things go wrong, we're dead. So what's up with this? How come I have to listen to what this snot-nosed punk tells me? First, they send us way out here. And then, they tell us to neutralize the elemental disorder? If we bring this wise-ass show-off with us, it'll mean nothing but trouble. Exactly. Hey, what are you talking about? Second Sergeant Brandel. It was off the record, but the Colonel said to give him full cooperation. I'd like you to have a little more faith in this operation. Wait, wait a minute. I'm not interested in joining the army. What the hell is going on? Tell me. Will that convince you to join us? Relax. I doubt it. Civilian. All I ask is that you help us out. A vehicle will arrive in the morning. I'll give you the details at Field HQ. Dismissed. You should rest while you can. Jeez. Huh? That was useless. Man, that lady only thinks of herself. Hey, kid. What did you come here for? Are you good for anything? Hey, I'm... I don't know, I got kidnapped. Stranger. I'm not a battle-loving meathead like you. Well, well, this kid bounces back pretty fast. <laughs> Do I? You definitely got backbone, my dear boy. And no lip flaps. Evan, was it? So, you're a ranger. Can you really shift geo streams? Yeah. Well, at least my dad could. We'd locate dead spots at Ether's forces and load people into them. I'm still in training, so I need you to provide some support. <laughs> Full fledged, huh? Half assed, more like it. You're no more than a rank amateur. In other words, if you mess up, we're all along for the ride, huh? Yeah, you'd better not get me mad. It may cause me to throw my aim off. Jeez. So, you volunteered to end the elemental disorder, Evan? No. no. That's not the case. I got attacked out of the blue, then dragged here against my will. I did receive draft notices, but I can't trust them if all they say is assist the army for the sake of your country. And that's why you're running away? Fine, we don't need amateurs anyway. Still, our army looks serious this time. It may be just to improve its image, but it's not a bad plan. Anyway, it looks like this is an army assignment you can be proud of. If our mission is, is it? to neutralize the disorder, then I'll give it my best effort. Okay, wow. That settles it. Let's see this field HQ tomorrow. If you want to run away, 
do it after that. Uh, well, okay. But, oh, jeez. Uh, I still don't get it. Hey, Carmine, what's the deal? A kid like him is useless. Oh, who asked you? At least this kid can save us some walking time. Do your best, Kenny. Evan, my boy. Ugh. Distracted by the boobs, huh? Poor sod. Okay. Well, that's our barracks. Uh, where's the weapon shop at? Skill, man. What, does he sell me skills? What's this exactly do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crate skills, exchange skills. I don't have any of the item necessary. Darn it! Exchange with item. Okay. Falls into A rank skill. Okay. A special skill. Ugh, darn it. Don't have Jack Squad here. Can't do anything with you. It's terrible. The magician? Uh eh. You're already there. So can I have to go to the item shop to buy weapons or something? Three items. Uh eh. No, I don't, I don't care anymore. He has a magical power-up helmet. There are six varieties of power-ups. Uh, time extends. Offensive spell hit count increases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't care. Yeah, I can tell that. Um, junction eggs. Okay. I don't know if I want to do that. Just, just exit. I don't know enough about magic to want to screw with it just yet. Ugh. We'll probably stick to the boring basics. Ugh. Jeez. Yeah, just rest, I guess. I mean, what else can I do? We're already waiting outside to go to the Sandworms Den. Are you ready, sir? Please hurry. Well, that'll do it for this episode. Until next time, then. See ya.